Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. It's actually another Friday filler, which you probably guessed because it's Friday. Actually, I've had a ton of questions and it's probably because you guys in the States are coming into summer, but I've had a lot of you guys asking me about my wet wading setup, what I'm wearing, how I'm setting it up and all that kind of stuff for when I'm fishing in the summer and it's warm enough to get in the river and get wet. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes this week and I'm gonna show you what I use when I'm wet wading and how I put it all together. Kind of hurts me to do this because we're just about coming into wader season over here in New Zealand so I'm not going to be doing much more wet wading but I've had a lot of people asking me about you know what I'm actually using where I get it from and all that good stuff so I thought I'm just going to show you real quick what I put on when I go wet wading and how it all comes together. I'm pretty much wearing as you can see what I would normally use when I'm wet wading in a river. First things first are my leggings. Now these leggings here basically all they are are these things here they're just they're just thermal base layer leggings just thermal pants by that don't they look good yeah, so they dry really quickly they keep you pretty warm when you're in the river they keep the sun off your skin they keep the sand flies off you so they they serve a multitude of purposes but really they're the same thing i wear under my waders in the winter to help keep me warm. I just wear thicker ones usually. They're the thinnest base layer thermal leggings you can find. So you can get merino ones. I think these ones are polyprop or something. It doesn't really matter. I put those on and then I just put some board shorts over the top of that. Well, these are just Orvis ones, but any board short, they'll dry quickly, they'll do the job. Take your pick. At the bottom end of that, then all I'm gonna do there is just a pair of, these are just wading socks. Any kind of sock will do the job. Doesn't matter, as long as they're long and they come up and they're, and they're kind of thick because you want to fill out your wading boot, obviously. Any kind of long sock like this, kind of thick, long enough to come halfway up your leg, job done. I've got some really nice ones as well, um, and they definitely make a difference, but they're not super important, especially if you're not walking lots and lots of kilometers. And then over the top of the socks, I then run these. These are just neoprene wading socks. I would say you can get these at any, any fly fishing tackle shop in the world. And if not, jump online and get them. Now, the two I use are Sims and Patagonia. They seem to have the design nailed, absolutely nailed. All these do is these are gonna go over the top of your sock like so. Boom, like that. And then they're gonna go inside your boots. Now, these serve a dual purpose. They fill out your wading boot well, they keep your feet warm when they're in the water, and these roll back down over the top of your boot and they stop all sand and pumice and all that kind of gunk and mud and sticks and stones. They stop them from ending up down inside your boot, making your life real uncomfortable. Wading boots, you all know what wading boots I use, the Orvis Pros, I think they're amazing, but whatever you got, it doesn't matter. And you don't have to get a different size to the one you've got when you wear your waders, that's the whole point with the wading sock. You're just chopping one out for the other. So you're just gonna put your feet in your boots, do them up as you would normally, right? Do that, and then what you're gonna do then is you're gonna take these, pull them down over the top. Now normally there's like a little uh, a hook that hooks onto here, but I always break mine off. And then all I do from here is I just pull that down over there like that, and that's done. Okay, that comes down. If you haven't broken them, hook that onto here and it helps stop them right up. And then I just pull my socks down like that. And that's it, job done. That is the best system I've found so far and I love it. So there you have it. Very, very simple, but super effective. And in, during the summer, it's, it's, it's just how I fish. You can walk a long way in it. You can scramble around the river. You can climb up banks over boulders. It keeps you super mobile. It's very unrestrictive keeps you warm, keeps the sun off you, it keeps you comfortable in the river. It's, it's brilliant. That's how you'll see me fish pretty much 100% of the time in the rivers in summer until I can't bear the cold anymore. And then I go to waders. Base layer thermal leggings, any kind of board short, some kind of long, thick sock, neoprene socks, pair of boots, done. Hope that answered your questions, everybody. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the button, join the team, lots more of this stuff to come. I'll see you guys on Tuesday and we'll go for a fish, eh? Have a great weekend, everybody. See you on the next one.